hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll provide you the fine art photography editing preset that's for the camera raw filter and you can use that by one click this one was the previous image and this one is as usual but after adding the preset you are getting these type of things and actually the gradient map after adding that you are getting like that so here i use a gradient map which is this one the by default one and after that you are getting the subtle change after adding the preset so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications go to the file and open up here i have the stock image i downloaded this one from devina.com i'll provide you the download link in my video description for the practice purpose and after that press ctrl j for the copy of this layer and after that go to the filter camera filter from here you will just get a xmp file that's thing i'll just provide you in my video description the download link actually and go to the load setting jobs options from here you will get this one fine art tone in photoshop and hit the open button after that you will get the drastical change of this image and let's see the before one and after one if i zoom it in you are getting these things so here you are getting the extra look and hdr things and which is just making your photographs more amazing and more artistic those who are interested in the fine art photography they can use this one and they can edit these things by using these effects so what's the settings let's see the temperature plus two and here the exposure plus zero five minus zero five actually and the highlights i made it down for the like a low tone or low highlight will just give you the extra exposure for the skin and the shadow i made it 100 percent that's why it's just getting the face in highlighted and here the whites plus 30 and this portion the highlighted portion just i made the more highlighted that's why i just added this one plus 30 and here the blacks minus 3 and you can make it more like that but i would suggest you to make it minus th three is the good things but uh, this thing is that you can change and you have the assumption to change this setup by your own photographs so the clarity minus 25 that's why you are getting the soft look in the face and if you make it like that it will be more like um, crystal clear so in the final photography the fantasy look is important for that the vibrance minus 10 and the saturation plus 3 after that a tone curve i made the lock over here here and here i made it a little bit upper for the matte look and the blue one i made like that the lock i just over here and here that's why i am getting this type of effects and the red i didn't touch that and green i didn't just made a simple change i made the upper side in a upper layer like that and the lower side in like that so after that in this portion in detailing options you are getting the amount that is 33 for the sharpening amount and the luminance of noise reduction that is 20 and rest of the things is by default and here the hue saturation luminance you know that hue saturation luminance is the three things hue is the color of types of color and the saturation percentage of color and luminance is how light will be the color and high how la dark will be the cut here i made the red zero in a like uh, hue options saturation options that is 87 and luminance minus 43 and luminance plus 23 for the orange and the saturation 14 for the orange and the hue that is zero and yellow hue that is 17 that's why you are getting the yellowish look and the saturation minus four and the luminance plus three that's why you're getting the glowing effect in a skin and here the green that is zero and minus green minus hundred percent that is the saturation and the that is the hue for plus 15 that's why you're getting the aqua look in a background and here the hue of the aqua plus 14 and the blues that is plus 12 purple plus 3 and the magenta 19 
and the saturation and the saturation of the green minus 100 percent and aqua that is minus 100 percent and minus plus three is a blue and i'm apologize for that my dog sound is too much annoying but i'm just making this video in my home so pardon me for that i'm apology for that and blue minus uh, 100 here the highlight and the shadow that is a split toning you know that the highlight color and shadow color defined with a like split toning from here the hue that is 98 and saturation 12 and here the hue 149 for the color and the saturation 7 no lens correction issues here you are getting the effects i just made the dehaze that is 15 and the amount of the like uh, vignetting that is minus eight that's good and camera calibration i made it a little bit change and which is a subtle one minus one for the hue plus three for the saturation and the saturation plus 10 for the green primary color and hue for the blue primary minus three and the saturation plus eight and that's all and hit okay so you're getting the change of that and after that i'll go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient map from here i'll just get this one which is like uh, the gradient map they, that is the by default color and just hit ok after that make the blending mode and make it soft light and make the percentage that is 23 and the soft or the opacity that is 17 yeah you're getting a little bit change but that is important for your photographs and you can adjust this one as your own in this case i'm getting this one but in your case you might not be get this one so it's up to you so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications more amazing things are coming next until the next video i may say my signing out today bye bye